Hi there everyone, welcome back to the Royal Society. Yes, that is Adam Savage, and he is here for a very good reason. <laughs> but first I want to talk to Keith, head librarian here at the Royal Society. And we have here one of the real crowd pleaser objects in the collection. Yes, like, this is yes, the, the box is fantastic. It's, it? a, it's a lovely box. Yeah. <laughs> in here is something you will have seen before on objectivity. This is Isaac Newton's death mask. Mm -hmm. The face of Isaac Newton shortly after he passed. Quite an amazing thing to see. But the thing we're talking about today is actually the box. The box it's kept in. Yeah. Now let's be honest, for such an incredible artifact, this is a pretty crummy box. <laughs> who, even, who even made this? It's got a bit battered over the years, but I, you know, when it was brand new, like me, it was young and, and handsome. Keith made it yeah. back in the 1980s. Yeah. It was a temporary, it was a stock. It was gap. a temporary book box, yeah. It, it wasn't was. supposed to stay in this box. All these years later, it's yeah. still in this same crummy box, handwritten Isaac Newton death mask on it. In my defence, Brady, <laughs> I did leave the Royal Society for quite a long time and then come back again. And I was equally surprised to see the temporary box. I'll tell you another man who was surprised to see this crappy box. Adam Savage. Yeah. He came here a few months ago to the Royal Society. You may have seen the videos. We showed him this thinking he'd be impressed, but I think sneakily he was looking at this box thinking, what are these guys playing at? What? It, it's, a, it's an exercise in craft, Brady. Come on. <laughs> Luckily for us, Adam Savage is not just a big Isaac Newton fan. He loves making stuff at his workshop in San Francisco. And specifically boxes. I've yeah. already, I would absolutely I'll, I'll, I'll put you in touch with Keith and Rupert, yeah. yeah. Um, and it would be absolutely acid free, completely archival. Oh man, I, they'd, I'm sure Keith would bite your hand off. It'd be great. So yeah, let's make it happen. That'd be really fun. That'd, That'd be, be amazing. Yeah. yeah. I would uh, be amazing. 100%. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, Adam's come back, but he hasn't come back empty handed. No. Well, he actually is empty handed. Not but let's, currently. Let's change that. He's come back with this. Ba ba ba. What have we got here? This is uh, my construction of a new home for Isaac Newton's death mask. I spent a lot of time looking up archival materials. Uh, I found out that aluminum is one of the best because it makes its own protective coating. And you guys sent me a scan and some drawings and I used those to create a cradle for the mask that, uh, that Isaac Newton can now live in here. Okay, full disclosure people, the official handover of this box happened about 10 minutes ago <laughs> in a video for Adam's channel, Tested. So you can go and watch that. And you can also watch how Adam made the thing, which is incredible. But we're going to reenact the hand over here for objectivity. Uh, we'll open it up and we'll see what's in there at the moment. There's the 3D print we made. All right. That, that's a lot more robust. I feel a lot more yeah. comfortable yeah. holding this one. <laughs> yeah, if you break it, it's fine. We can make another one. Yeah. We actually found out as well, it wasn't quite exactly the same scan and Adam had to do a little bit of last minute on the road tweaks to his little cradle Surgery. Here. But now it fits perfectly. So can we do the transfer? We, we can, yeah, here we go. So we, here we have Sir Isaac Newton, all his glory. And here we have a glorious fit. It's actually really fun looking through inert materials that won't impart any extra chemistry on this mask as it lives here. Uh, this is Tyvek, it's polyethylene, it is archival hot glue holding these things together. And then my favorite part was the signature I etched in the top with ferric chloride. He had a beautiful signature. I took a digital copy of his signature, blew it up, taped it down, and then I cut it out and etched it with ferric chloride. So it's hand autographed by Adam Savage <laughs> in Isaac Newton's signature, or whatever that means. I've actually signed it on the back with it. I have a hardened steel stamp of my signature, and I did sign it on the underside of the box. That's good. We were going to have you arrested for forgery. Though, just a moment. <laughs> Isaac Newton was not a man with a small nose. I feel like I can say that. Yeah, I feel you can. Yeah. <laughs> and so we've got a little nose gap there for the, uh, yeah. for the Isaac Newton nose as well. So, Keith, be honest, you know, we're all friends here. Adam can take it. What, what, yeah. do, you, what do you think? Okay, well, you know, I, I think this is the, the T2 of archive boxes, okay? <laughs> so you can, you can see it's an improved metal construction and so on. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I think it's a, it's a beautiful thing. Is it going to be the new home? It is going to be the new home, yeah. yes. Yeah. All right. If you, you feel it's going to keep it safe? Uh, it will, and it can uh, be used to travel as well. So if we ever loan out the mask, 
uh, it can stay in its box and that will keep it nice and snug on its journeys. Have you loaned it out before, the mask? Uh, we have. We've loaned it out to... In this box? Uh, not in that box. No. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Too precious, Brady. We didn't want to send that outside the Royal Society. Um, but yes, we, it's been on display in the Science Museum. It's got its own little special stand that it, that it uh, uh, can hook onto. Uh, so yeah, it's been out and about a little bit, but it is quite delicate. It is plaster and wax and therefore we don't want it going too far or, or having too terrible a journey. I have to say, I'm really jealous of Adam. That yeah. something he did and made is now going to live in the Royal Society archive for hundreds of years maybe. Yeah. At least 40 years, judging by how long this thing's <laughs> around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well done. Well, Adam, thank you for sharing this moment with us and I'm sure Keith... Yeah. Fun. I'm over the moon about this. I'm yeah. really excited. And, and maybe you'll hang around for 40 years as well, Brady. Well, I was actually going to ask what's going to happen to this box because I had my eyes on it, but I've noticed Adam's already got his eyes oh, on it. Oh, no, well, yeah, I, I, I may put it on eBay now. Yeah. <laughs> you can keep that in it as well. Yeah, yeah no, I well, think that, that, There yeah. we go. It's, it's, it has a new purpose. But here, for, t for now, here's the real one. Say farewell for now, everybody, to Isaac Newton as we close the lid on another episode of Objectivity. Here we go. Do you feel lucky? I, no. No. <laughs> so what Adam's going to do, he's going to close his eyes, like so, and hear the card catalogue at the Royal Society. Adam, I want you to pull a card from the drawer of your choice. All right. Mm, which way are you going? Go unscientifically towards the... No. All right, there we go. Oh, he's gone left. Yeah, that's, let's go. That's towards the back there. Okay. I'm just going to... Uh... You're really following your heart here. Oh, yeah, I'm just trying to... Okay, how... You want this one? Yeah. All right, what have we got here? On a comet. That looks promising. <laughs>